Here's one of the advanced questions we saw in the test recently. Eddie works as a scrum master, and she is redesigning how team manages definition of done in Asana. Which step will not help her to accomplish this objective? And you're presented with seven different choices, and you need to select all that apply in order. Choice A. Update product definition in Asana. Choice B. Update Asana custom fields. Choice C. Make updates by redesigning due dates. Choose D. Update DOD to include non-functional requirements met condition. Choice E. Add a milestone in Asana section for product owner approval. Choice F. Update product increment goals. And choice G. Add a milestone automation test passed. Take a close look, maybe pause this video to see if you can select all the right answers. Did you figure it out? I am moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. But obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. Based on my experience, I think correct choices are D, G, and E. Choice D, update DOD, which stands for definition of done, to include non-functional requirements met condition. Choice G, add a milestone, automation tests passed. And choice E, add a milestone in Asana sections for product owner approval. What's interesting about this question is that it tests your knowledge of Asana as well as your knowledge of Agile methodology. And on top of it, there is a negative selection in the question design, where you are being asked which steps will not help her to accomplish this objective. To better understand the answer, let's look at what is definition of done. In classical Agile terminology, definition of done is the set of criteria that is met for an Agile unit of measure to be considered done. And those units of measure are user story, sprint, PI, which stands for product increment, or any other unit of measure in Agile methodology. Most of the time, definition of done is represented by a checklist and is used by Scrum teams to create a shared understanding of what is required to close the deliverable. Here is the sample, very basic definition of done, which consists of five checklist items. Number one, feature design completed. Number two, unit testing is completed. Number three, automation test passed. Number four, product owner signed off on new features. And last but not least, number five, mobile app passed app store reviews. So how management of definition of done can be accomplished in Asana? If you, for example, need to use choice D and update definition of done to include non-functional requirements met condition, you might decide to make changes in the project planning and definition sections inside Asana. As you can see, this section consists of product increment goals, goals for the sprint, as well as attachment, probably Microsoft Word file, with definition of done. So to make such change and add additional requirement in definition of done list, you would need to add new item in the list similar to the sample I showed you, sample of definition of done. In the very similar way, you can implement choice G, add a requirement for automated test passed. Recommend the choice E, add a milestone for Asana sections for product owner approval, is a little bit different. Let's take a close look. For example, we are looking at WooCommerce implementation project in Asana. It has three sections, to do, in progress, and completed. And this is in relevance to the tasks that team completes on the project. What choice E suggests, to add a milestone in a section for product owner approval, will require us to add a new section in between in progress and completed items, which would allow product owner to approve items before they are marked completed. Let's look at choices A, B, C, and F to understand why I believe they do not represent the correct answers. Choice A. Update project definition in Asana. will change just general settings of Asana project. You can navigate and do it by clicking on the project title and click Edit Project Details. Update Asana custom fields has no impact on definition of done. Choice C, making updates by reassigning due dates, will have limited impact on definition of done. And last but not least, choice F, update product increment goals, will change the goals for the product increment for PI, but not definition of done. A lot of times, team also maintains project goals in the project planning and definition section, just as a separate item. But updating it has no impact on definition of done. Based on everything I shared, I believe the correct answers are choices D, 
update definition of done to include non-functional requirements met condition, choice G, add a requirement, automation tests passed, and choice E, add a milestone in Asana sections for product owner approval. Do you have a better way to solve this question? Please make sure to post your answers and rationale in comments so we can all learn.